All right, so it's actually very simple. Because of how things are in Ghana or because of how things are in the world, you might be deceived to think the gospel music community and the worldly secular music community are the same. No, they are not the same. We have a lot of differences. Champagne for my pain. Now still pick you, you could have been. Um, the only similarity is that we both sing music. So today the video is going to be about things that are secular. So let me clarify, Charlie. Things worldly secular music artists do that gospel music artists can't do. Um, you realize that with the worldly secular music artists, they can just get up and start writing songs based on anything. There's no particular criteria. There's no structure there's no not like structure there's no thing there's no standard their lyrical content must match up to they can begin to write from experiences love sex profanity money fame gospel artists cannot do that so the gospel artist your song cannot be an anyhow song your song must must be biblically sound and must be according to the word of god and um, it shouldn't be just any song it should just be any Lyrical, you can't, you can't just get up. You can't just get up and write about your own experience. Sometimes your own experience might be valid, but if it doesn't match up with the word of God, if it doesn't um, go with the word of God, it might not be a gospel song because the, every gospel song must have a component of the word of God inside. It should match. It should be biblically sound. It shouldn't be something that when you go and cross check with the, with the word of God, it doesn't make sense. It should always make sense together with the word of God. Either back. You realize that worldly secular music artists beef with each other. They beef with other um, worldly secular artists. And it doesn't make sense. For them, it makes sense. But it's something we can't do in the gospel music community. Why can't we do it? We can't do it because we see our fellow gospel minister as a co worker in the building. In the, in the, in the, in the build yeah, in the building. Yes. In the building or in the vineyard or in the community or in the fraternity or in the kingdom. So there's no need to beef my fellow gospel minister because there's no competition. It is not competition. Yeah, competition, yeah, bruh. We are not seeking to prove any point. Nobody is better than anybody. We are all trying to build the kingdom of God and make sure that we win souls through our music or we minister to people through our music. So there's no need to beef anybody or there's no need to talk down on any other fellow minister and then frighten it. One thing you realize is that the whole essence of the beefing, or the whole essence of the beef, I don't know why they've not tried pork. <laughs> but the whole essence of the beef is to prove that I am better than this, or to prove a point. In the gospel frightening, there's no point to prove. There's no point. point there's no po What point are you trying to prove? There's no point to prove. You realize that with the worldly secular music artists, they praise themselves in their songs most of their songs are directed to them their songs are praising themselves of about how they've hustled to where they are they've made it to where they are and that they struggled and they uh, beat all the odds to where they are but as a gospel artist as a gospel music artist whom in whom or in which the holy spirit lives you cannot do that because your songs must praise God, it must praise Jesus. It doesn't matter what you have done. We it must go to God because we recognize and we see the things God has done in our lives. Gospel music seeks to throw more light on the doings of God, on the we seem to magnify the doings of God rather than our own efforts. You know, worldly secular music artists they entertain their audience but the gospel music minister ministers to the audience or ministers to his listeners what do i mean by minister against entertain as a minister of god or as a gospel music minister there's there are some things god can put in you to be released to people through your singing through your lyrics through your ministration through your voice through your instrumentation and you realize that for the secular people, it just vibes it, inshallah, and inspiration. Now, there's more to inspiration. A lot of people say that they listen to worldly secular songs, they listen to secular songs for inspiration, you debab, which is true, which is very true. When you dream, dream big is a very or uh, highly inspirational song, you debab, but there's more to inspiration to it for a believer. There's more to just a normal, normal inspiration. So as a gospel music minister, you minister. 
that's why we call you minister we don't call you performance we don't perform we minister performance is very very weak it is very very empty because you just come and give energy and you go there is more to energy people can be healed through your songs people can be set free through your songs people can be uh, liberated through your songs people can be give their life to christ through your songs there's a whole lot of things that god can do through your songs that you will never know about yeah although we couldn't go out to go and you know make it a vlog i i was in my house yeah and we shot it i want to know what you think in the conversation please you can yeah don't insult me i beg just let me know what you think in the conversation